In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to edit a green screen video on a Windows-based editing software. Today we're going to be using Movavi, which you can download directly from their website. We're going to be using the Video Editor Plus in this case. They have several other items that you can download on their website. The Plus version is the one that will allow you to do green screen. They have a free version, but they also have a paid version. Today we'll be using the free version, so let's get started. As mentioned, we are using the Video Editor Plus called Movavi, and this is compatible with Windows. Um, I showed you iMovie last week. That is compatible with a Mac operating system. So now I'll be showing you the Windows version. You have to go to Movavi to download the Video Editor Plus from their website. And this is what the front page will look like. Right here, you'll have your import area where you drag or drop your files. On the left-hand side, you have all of your different effects, transitions, titling. It's an all-around great editing software. I highly recommend it if you are on a Windows platform and do not have iMovie available to you. This is a great editing software. But today, I'm only going to show you how to do the green screen editing. So I've got my sample video right here on the right hand side and my background photo. So I'm going to grab both of those and just drag them into my media bin. All right, so we see them both here. On this bottom part, you're going to see our timeline and you see a music track, a video track and a title track. We need to add an extra video track because we have two different types of videos. We have our image and we have our sample video. So we're going to press this plus sign right here and add a video track. So we've got one and two. On the bottom video track, you're going to put the image that you want behind you when you're editing your green screen video. We'll extend it to make it a little longer. We're just doing that by grabbing the end. Then we'll grab our green screen Next video and drag it down to the other video track. Make sure that it starts at the beginning at zero. Now we can bring in our second track to the same time as our green screen track. All right, so now you've got, you can see on your timeline, you've got the two tracks. You can see your wavelengths here for your audio and the photo that we chose as our background. And you can see what you're doing on this preview screen on the right hand side. So we're just gonna select our green screen video and we're gonna go over here under all tools, which is the four grid right here, the little icon that looks like a grid. You'll select that one and it'll take you to all tools. You'll go down and you see chroma key right here. We'll click on that. And as soon as you click chroma key, you're going to get a dropper. And what that dropper does is it's going to identify the color that is behind you on the green screen. That means it will replace that and make it transparent. So let's go ahead and just click the green. So as you can see, it's taken out the green portion of our video, make it transparent, and you see the image that we chose as our background. I'm going to make this a little larger so you can see. So right over here on the left hand side, you'll see what they call the tolerance. And that's basically the strength of your chroma key. We're going to scroll through that a little bit just to see how different it would look depending on the value that we choose. So see if we have it at a weaker strength of seven, you can see some of the grain behind me. If we bring it up to about 80, which is where the program initially had it, it takes away most of the grain. These other selections, noise, edges, and opacity will also help clean up some of the edges around my top, around my hair, but you have to find the happy medium because if you do too much, you're going to cause some of your image to go away. For example, if I pull up the opacity a little more, you see some of that darkness coming up on the right hand side. So let's bring that back down to seven where it was. If I bring up the edges a little more, It helps remove some of the green that's on the edges, but they're not as soft as you can see in my hair. 
So we'll bring that down, maybe back up to three. And then noise, when we increase the noise, you see the color of the green bleeding into my hair and into my top. And we don't want that. We want to be able to make it look as if I am standing in this home. So once you've chosen your selection for tolerance and noise and edges and opacity, then you are finished. You can come over on your left hand side and choose different title effects that you can add to your video. You can add an opening, you can add music, you can add transitions. Movavi offers you several different features Again, we are using the trial free version. If you'd like to add more features, you can use the paid version as well. But this is the editing software that will work for your Windows computer. Now let's play back and see how it looks. Next week, I'll be showing you how to use the green screen editing software on your computer. So it looks pretty good. If we had had some issues with noise or opacity, you would see that on the left and right hand side and on the top. You would see some leftover noise here and over here. So it did a really good job at taking out the green. So you can go ahead and choose export over here on the right hand side to finish your video once you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments section and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see tutorials that go up every week.